Hi, it's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Well, the NOAA 2025 National Hurricane Center hurricane prediction came out. Let's talk about it. Right now, what they're calling for are 13 to 19 named storms. That's within the average and would put it also similar to what we saw in 2024 of 18 storms. They're calling for 6 to 10 hurricanes. We saw 11 last year, also within the average. And then for major storms, that's category 3 or higher, 3 to 5 storms all within that range. Now, what does it mean when we break down these numbers? Well, overall, it means that there's a 60% chance that we could see an above normal season. That's very similar to what we saw with earlier forecasts from Colorado State University a couple of months ago. And there's only a 30% chance of a near normal season. And in terms of being a little below of what we may think we may see, there's only a 10% chance of that. So a variety of different factors, obviously a La Nina versus an El Nino pattern this summer. We're going into more of a neutral pattern, but most of the forecasts we've seen are calling for an above average season. Now the 2025 names start with Andrea, go all the way down towards Wendy. Those are the 2019 names that we're replacing Dorian. So what are the factors that the Cape Air C2 weather team are going to be watching as we get into tropical season? The first one, of course, will be what's happening in the Gulf, down across parts of the Caribbean. Lots of dry air out there over the last couple of weeks. So, so far, so good. Water temperatures continue to climb, though, upper 70s to low to mid 80s. And that's enough to spark any kind of tropical wave that can get going. One of the things that we have in benefit for us, at least early in the season here, is the reintroduction of the Saharan dust. That will continue to move in from Africa. And right now, big plumes of that moving its way across the tropics will help to suppress tropical development. However, now is a great time to make sure that you've got your hurricane kit set for this season. If you need tips, what you need, what's best to get and where to get it, well, you can find it at clicktohouston.com. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton, and don't forget, the KPRC2 weather team is always watching and always tracking for you this tropical season.